my friends happy 2022 welcome back to my channel we flow grow my name is Christina and welcome to my beginners tutorials today's practice is gonna be about downward facing dog Adam Mukha Svanasana so have your mat ready and we are gonna begin in a tabletop position I'll meet you on the mat to find your tabletop position come to your four forces Place your hands down, spread your fingertips wide apart, press the heel of the hands down, and lift the middle of your hand up, creating like a little tent. From here, when you have that, see if you can press that floor away from you, finding length through your arm bones, wrists to your elbow, to your shoulders so you're not sagging down you're pressing actively the floor away from you your gaze is down your neck is long shoulders are away from the ears find your belly here going down the belly is in and your hips should be right on top of your knees it's good to have a mirror nearby you so you can check your alignment from time to time and adjust yourself when you have to so having all that alignment in a tabletop everything is looking good you're pressing actively the floor away from you your whole body is active here this is step one before you get into downward facing dog the next step I am going to use props. One prop you can use is the yoga block. If you have two of those, I invite you to use them for our downward facing dog. If you don't have props, I'm going to use books for today's video because I want to show you that you don't have to have the perfect prop to start practicing yoga. And you can look around in your house and find everything that you need in um, in your own home and you can start right away practicing and enjoying the benefits of a good yoga practice so if you have blocks please use them if you don't have blocks find a pair of books nothing special about a pair of books the only thing that matters is they should be the same height so when you have your books place them or blocks place them on the same spot you had your hands in tabletop find tabletop position one more time placing the hands on the books shoulders are right on top of the wrists your hips are right on top of your knees really important here is your alignment so make sure you have that the call ten toes under press the floor actively away from you here pull the belly in and lift the kneecaps of the mat stay here for one two and three and release untuck your toes maybe take the hands clasp them and roll your wrists change the side of the rows release find tabletop one more time hands on the books or on the blocks tuck the toes under lift your kneecaps off the mat this time press the hips back and away from the wrists keep your knees bent and find downward facing dog keep pressing your floor away from you with your arms creating a length through the wrists through the shoulders all the way up to your hip bones let your head be heavy look at your thighs or at your shins your neck is long and the shoulders are away from the ears make sure you're breathing here start pedaling your feet inviting length in the backs of the legs So the 
point, the whole purpose of downward facing dog is finding length from the arms through your upper body all the way up to your tailbone. It's not to have your heels on the mat. So you can have your knees bent. You can practice downward facing dog and have your heels aiming down towards the floor and that is totally fine. The important thing is the connection between the palms of the hands and the mat and having that connection really strong. So remove your books, your blocks to the side. Find tabletop one more time, placing the hands down, spreading the fingers as wide as you can. Find the heel of the hand, press the floor away from you, pull the belly in, turn the toes, lift up and back. You're active in your upper body, active in your hands, keep pressing the floor away from you, creating foundation. Make sure you're breathing, pulling the belly in. Look at yourself in the mirror and see that long line from your wrists through the shoulder all the way up to your hips. With the time and with the practice, your body will open and you will be able to place the heels down on the mat. And even if you're not to, again, this is not the point of practicing downward facing dog. So whatever you are, make sure you're breathing and make sure you're actively pressing the floor away from you through the arms, creating a length through the arm bones. So we come back down to tabletop and this is the tutorial for downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana. Practice that with your props for as long as you have to. Make sure you have your proper alignment and give your body enough time to open up on its own pace. If you have any questions for me please let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me how do you like those tutorials? Are they useful? Are they helpful? The next video is going to be about a port facing dog. Thanks again for practicing with me. I will see you next time.